so oxytocin is a neurochemical made in the brain. And uh, about 20 years ago, my lab developed a way to measure its acute release in human beings without drilling holes into their skulls, which is what is done with animals. Um, I'm just guessing humans aren't going to be so cool about me drilling a hole into their skulls. And what we showed over many years of research is that oxytocin is a key signal, neurochemical signal, that says that the person that we're interacting with is safe or trustworthy or familiar. And so we think about the number of factors that influence our own decisions. Other people are part of that. We are social creatures in a, in a true anatomical sense. And so by being able to have a mechanism to measure the brain's production of oxytocin, it gives us insight into uh, essentially things like influence and persuasion and marketing, right? That we are influenced by social factors. And just to, to go back one step, I said we're social creatures. No one disagrees with that. But anatomically, we have many more receptors for this neurochemical oxytocin in the brain than any other mammal species. And so we are acutely sensitive to social information. Now, that's good and bad. It means we learn from each other. Uh, we like working in groups. You can just put people together and they'll collaborate right away, almost always. But it also means we're subject to persuasion. And that can be good or bad, right? So um, as social creatures, we're also good at picking up people who are lying to us, pulling our leg, right? So we're, we're constantly balancing this like, oh, this guy's great. I want to hang out and talk to him. Hear what he has to say with, oh, okay, this guy's really trying to pull the wool over my eyes or uh, sell me something I don't want. And so there's this kind of balance between that. And I think that's where, you know, uh, the kind of business application of this gets quite interesting.